I'm in Brixton today to ask people, do you feel safe? Do you feel like women are safe in London these days? No. No. The roads are a mad place, you get me? Um, for a lot of people, mentally, physically, so, you know, you I could only really speak to women and for them to answer that question for me, do you get me? Right. Do you feel, what do you think men could do to help protect women? I think there has to be more conversations surrounding safety. Hi, Safari, nice to meet you. Are you Irish? Yeah, I oh, am. Yeah. Oh, my but God. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it was the green. Um, so, yeah, we're just asking people in Brixton, like, do you think uh, women's safety is an issue in the UK? Um, generally speaking, yeah, I guess. Whenever my girlfriend's out and I'm at home, I always like mess her to make sure she's all right. I don't even go out at night in London. Yeah, to be honest. yeah. I normally just stay at home. Do you think women's safety is an issue? Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why yeah. are you laughing? Because it's an obvious question. <laughs> like, yeah. It's... Can I ask you a question about women's safety? Oh, sure. Okay. Do you feel safe? I do. Okay. What kind the of reason? The reason why I feel safe because I keep myself fit. They call you Mama Rosaline. Everywhere. And I go to areas that I need to go to. And even if I go to areas that doesn't seem quite right, if you send out the positivity, then fear no evil. So mm. you used to be a teacher? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. International. Yes, Mama Rosaline. Oh, look, this is... Thanks. You're giving dad vibes. OK. Uh... <laughs> I mean, those are the only vibes I got. <laughs> you come out of the station, there are no lights. Also, the cab drivers, Ubers, they can't go all the way down the streets now. So women are having to be dropped off further away. And I just, I just don't feel that it's safe. Yeah, it would protect them more. Mm. Especially, like, this Wednesday was Women's Day, so... Mm. What did you do for your partner on International Women's Day? We went for a... Uh, we went for lunch. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. went for an International Women's Day lunch? Yeah. yeah. That's going to solve everything, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is an issue, ma'am. It has been an, an issue, it's a forever issue. So you think you've got to watch your children 24-7 for them to stay safe? Of course, man. I watch, I've got two boys as well, two men. One is 50, one is 40. I watch them very, very much. Wow. That Everything sounds, they do. Sounds like a lot of work, though. It is a lot of work, but you enjoy it. Mm. Can I ask you a question about women's safety? Woman safety? Yeah, come on now. I have two daughters, they're, they're nine and six, mm. and, and yeah, it's something I think about. Yeah. You know, um, what kind of things are you thinking about? Like, uh, Well, so my eldest will soon be going to secondary school. Right. She'll be walking, travelling to school on yeah. her own and back yeah. again. Yeah. In winter, that means it'll be dark yeah. when she comes home from school. Yeah. So yeah, I want her to feel like she's safe in the streets right. and to be safe in the yeah, streets. Yeah. There's actually a map um, on the Lambeth Council website. You can put places where you think you feel unsafe. Um, and not just what is it like an interactive yeah, map? An interactive oh, that's good. Map, and then yeah. you can put places in the area where you feel unsafe just to raise more awareness. So I don't know, services have an idea of like yeah. where where the least place, least least safe places are. Yeah. Yeah. For my YouTube channel, it'll only take a minute. I'm so sorry. Come on, <laughs> only a minute. You don't look that busy though. I think it's important. Yeah. Very important. You've got mums, you've got sisters, you've got cousins, and it should be the priority. Mm -hmm. There's not enough. What's the word? Not enough. What's the word I'm looking for? There's not a protection. Yeah, there's not a protection for them. I mean, secondary school, they often travel on their own. Yeah, right? so, yeah. Um, so when I'm not, then she's Self be taking public transport. Self defence classes or. Uh, I suppose I haven't even thought about it, but that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? It's about why. You look, I like this. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Talk me through your fit. Um, I got this, I found it on a TikTok advert. Oh! Uh, it took like four weeks to come. Uh, New oh. Balance oh. champion hoodie. Okay! Um, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> What's your name? Marco. Marco. Marco, yeah. I'm from Sapphire. Italy. You're from Italy? Originally. Yeah. You sound like you're from Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> you at Marco? As a man, like the privilege you have, you don't have to think about those things. Yeah. You don't have to think about oh, if I'm walking down the street. Yeah. You don't have to worry if someone's behind me. Yeah. You know, I don't have to clutch my keys or anything like that. Yeah. So now, you know, if I'm ever in that situation, try and make a con conscious effort to yeah. uh, walk the other way. It's not, it's not the kind of thing where I think a lot of men think like, well, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not part of yeah, the problem. Yeah. That's not the point. Yeah. The point is just to make someone else feel safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware that with my height, yeah. it could, I could be intimidating, and I. Just, you know, I try to be careful and yeah. respectful of that. What kind of things do you do to come across less intimidating? Well, it's just like, you know, man in my space, not yeah. being too close to yeah. someone. Yeah. Uh, I think that's really thoughtful. Smiling. It's important. Not smiling? 
No, no, I mean, yeah. Oh, smiling. <laughs> smiling. That is so her. sweet. Plays do you do any roles. little things, like, at night to help a woman feel safe? Like, would you cross the yeah. road? Yeah, calmly, calmly, yeah. calmly. Actually, that's a conversation that we have, actually, with our bedrooms yeah, surrounding yeah, yeah. that, yeah. Because I've noticed sometimes, guys, when I'm getting off the overground late at night, they'll cross over, and I know they're doing it so they don't feel like I'm getting followed by a man. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's cute and yeah. thoughtful. So you've spoke about that with your yeah, friends Yeah, yeah, we've, we've gone through the motions. If you were in trouble, most people are going to do what? They're going to get their cameras out and start videoing you instead of trying to help you. When you can't stress a woman, you're lost. Does that make sense? Mm. You, as, in my situation, my mum can't stand me, but I feel love her. Your mum can't stand me? My mum can't stand me. Why? It's a long story. Okay. <laughs> but I still love her, and yeah. so I love women. Even when I get home and I park my car yeah. on my drive, I look round, I go up to the door that's a few steps away and I'm like this with Quickly. the key. Yeah. Having a uh, physical fitness about you, so the aura around you makes you feel and don't, you don't fear anything. So you go and flow naturally. So anything comes t towards you that you feel a bit threatened, that goes away because that spiritual thing around you is protecting you. Especially if you're somebody who does think about safety. Mm. Listen, there's women out there that don't. I see them when I'm driving my car, yeah. two o'clock, yeah. three o'clock yeah. in the morning, I'm coming back from a party or what have you, and they're just walking. Yeah. When it comes to women and children, yeah. they're important. Yeah. I mean, I've got eight children, Five, five mouse and... Five baby mamas. No, 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 oh. <laughs> two baby mamas. Oh, okay, Don't try so No, eight <laughs> children, two mums. Right, OK. So can I interview from my YouTube channel? It's about women's safety. Oh, uh, we want to talk about Jesus Christ. Um, one and four and four girls. And four. Yeah, no, no, five, no, four. You answer some questions and then I'll answer some questions. Ooh. And four by me, yeah. two different mums. Yeah. <laughs> no, five by me, two different mums, one with one. But anyway, we're talking about women anyway. No? Yes? Just want to talk about Jesus. No, no, no. Two steps and four mountains. So what are you say to, to the, to the I son? I always tell them, respect a woman. Right. If a woman gets annoyed with you, she says, piss off, piss off. Right, okay. Words, if she slap you, just walk away. Really? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> you can't. I've been in a situation, I was dating a girl, and one day she came to my house and said, get that. She goes, get that from her. I said, you get it. She went, blap. I oh, said, I'm yeah, I said, you want the other cheek. Have you heard of Andrew Tate? Yeah. What do you think about him? Back. What does he say to these men that makes makes them tick? We have this culture of getting rich quick, and this guy proposed something like that, like, if you follow me, you will get richer. Yeah. And of course, like, in any pyramid scheme, like, the people start following. What did you have that, the, that these other young men don't have? Well, Purpose, it's just... Or... You just have to be try to be yourself, don't mm -hmm. try to be someone else. Mm -hmm. I mean, sex is, this sexism is what built this society. We live in a sexist society, so yeah, yeah. there's loads of ways that women aren't safe in that way. I mean, you get guys that beat up their wives and you think... You're, you're, Why do you think men beat up women? To me personally, he is insecure. Why women might feel unsafe at times? What kind of things could we say to them? Uh, I think that we just need to... Make sure that there, uh, there is a conversation and, uh, and empathy. Yeah. You know, that there's a conversation between boys and girls about yeah. it. That there's like open debate about yeah, it. You yeah, know? yeah. I don't think it's just about like, telling boys, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Yeah. Um, it's about making sure that we keep that conversation going. Yeah. And make sure it's open. Yeah. yeah. There's an issue with women's safety interna all over the world, man. Not just London. But we must try and have a lot of security from the police and uh, from people who know better to make it a, a, a better place yeah. for all of us. Yeah.